I do think there's a good place for, for technical schools. Uh, what's happened now with some of our technical schools is that they have taken a mission that drives uh, their mission away from the technical side, more to the academic side. So I think it's up to us as, as legislators and policy makers to try to refocus on some of that, engage the, uh, the industries uh, to tell us what it is those needs are. There's some of that going on, but, but, but again, if, if we just pass that off as a, uh, as a trend that's going to solve itself, I think we're, we're really lying to ourselves that this is going to you know, end up being uh, better by leaving it alone. Uh, you know, I'm hearing from some folks that are building houses that they, they need bricklayers and, and they need good carpenters. People got to have the understanding that uh, just like, you know, R.C. Willow was talking about, a local farmer, that there's an elevation of expectation that's coming with these jobs. Uh, so you got to be willing to learn the trade and you got to be willing to do the time to learn and study. And the kids will do those things, come out of these schools, they'll succeed. And they'll earn a very good salary. What I would hope would happen is that because of the concerns that are raised, that the uh, governor and his staff would put together a, a list of things that could be prioritized to, to actually happen in state government. Yeah, they've got to have heard consistently in these meetings some of the same topics. For example, over-regulation or a lack of quickness on approving permitting. Uh, if we're talking about jobs and the economy, if it takes 15 months to get an approval at DENREC or, or DELDOT, people walk, they quit, they, they get frustrated and they don't do the project. We had one right here in Seaford uh, that was going to happen and once they found out the ramifications that DELDOT was going to put on them, they, they said, no, we're not going to do that. It was a huge store. Uh, so hopefully the repetitiveness of some of these topics will, will take hold and, and then the action list will be uh, maybe prepared and some things will happen. I know I'm going to make my own list and I'm planning on following up with the governor to see what, what it is they're going to actually do. So that's what I'm hoping will happen. I hope he'll reach back out to those he had these meetings with and say, uh, help me get some of this resolved.